going on guys welcome back to the channel hi psi tv thanks for tuning in we are back here in my shop at the house and what i want to talk to you about today is the best investment i have ever made as far as racetrack gear so lucky enough whenever we go to the track ryan brings his trailer which has tools air compressor air conditioning lights um you know it's got everything that we need to maintain a race car while we're at the track but when we're cooling down between rounds you got to have one of these. So I picked up this golf cart a couple of weeks ago and I've been using it like crazy. Um, I go to the track a lot just to watch and having a golf cart makes it really convenient riding around the pits, riding up to the starting line. If you got a buddy there with a race car, you can run back and forth to see him. And uh, what also is really cool is there's room for a cooler on the back, which is quite convenient. So what we have here is a uh, 2005 club car we call number nine. So as far as I know, this came off of a golf course and uh, I bought it off a guy on Facebook Marketplace, brought it home, wiped it down, put some air in the tires and I've been riding it ever since. So this is a uh, 48 volt golf cart and a couple reasons I went electric. The biggest reason is they are cheaper. So I looked at gas golf carts. The cheapest one I could find that was actually in decent shape was about five grand. So Yes, gas golf carts are nice because you never have to charge them. You put gas in them and you ride all day long, but they are expensive. And if you ever have an engine issue, they're expensive to fix. So a set of batteries for one of these is about 600, 800 bucks. They last a couple of years if you maintain them properly. So I try to maintain them properly. We do have a few plans for this little guy. Uh, first off is going to be wheels and tires. So I don't want to lift this golf cart. And the main reason for that is when you lift them, they start to handle bad and, uh, you know, I'm not a lifted anything kind of guy. Everything I've got is lowered. So golf cart will remain this height for now, put some wheels and tires on it. And then Eric Seaman from Choice Sign Supply is supposed to help me out in getting this thing wrapped. So he wants to do some weird, crazy color. It's like a flip flop. Uh, so it's not gonna be white or black or tan. It'll be like purple and green or gold and brown. And so we're gonna do something kind of neat. Um, a definite plus to this guy too, has a roof. So Jeff is pretty pale, and when I go out to the racetrack, I get sunburned real easy. Uh, if you guys have ever met me before out at the racetrack, I'm usually red, and it's because I have sensitive skin. I'm a wuss. So sun beating down on me all day, even if I wear a hat, sunscreen, whatever, I cook if I'm at the racetrack all day. So having a roof on this, I'll be able to chill under it and uh, kind of relax. So no radio, no creature comforts on this thing, but it does have a windshield. So when we were out riding last weekend at the track, keeping the wind from blowing across you really helps out, helps keep you warm because it's been cold here in North Carolina. So like I said, I'm gonna throw a little bit of wheel and tire on this, get it wrapped. I'm gonna leave the tan seats on it because they're brand new, tan roof for now. I'll probably scuff it and paint it at a later date, just white or something like that. And then I wanna get a dash kit for this thing. So as you can see, the whole dash is just kind of open right now. And they make inserts that go in here and then they screw in and they have little locking doors and stuff like that. And then you can put a radio in if you want, whatever. But uh, my main goal is to have more than four cup holders. So I'll have eight if I put a dash kit in it. But yeah, just getting around the racetrack, this really makes it easy. So for you guys that are looking for golf carts, a few things to look for. The newer golf carts are 48 volt. The older ones were 36 volt. So if you can find a 48 volt golf cart, you're already ahead of the game. Another thing to look for is to make sure it is a club car or an easy go. The cheaper Japanese off-brand stuff, the suspension is terrible. They ride like crap and they're kind of hard to get parts for. So this thing being a club car, I can get parts for it real easy. Wheels and tires real easy. And if anything goes wrong, like the speed controller, the motor, parts are really, really easy to get. And golf carts really haven't changed in like the last 25 years. Up until about five years ago, they started doing all the weird Euro headlights and, you know, integrating all that cool stuff. But I'll tell you guys, so far invested, I've got less than $2,000 in this. And as far as I'm concerned, that's going to pay for itself really fast because I don't like walking and I don't like being in the sun. So this thing to cart us around, you know, if we're pitted and everyone needs to go up to the starting line, four or six people can hop on this. No one's got to walk. We always have camera gear with us. Cooler, of course. So it's easy to just shove everything in here, you know, your, with your tire pressure gauge, your torch, all that stuff. That way you don't have to run back and forth to the trailer a bunch of times. So for you guys looking, definitely, definitely get one of these. 
and uh, talk about the channel real quick. I've been kind of low key lately uh, as far as spending money on projects just because of the holidays coming up. So the uh, Tahoe, I'm going to do methanol on hopefully before the holidays. So I have to get a hold of a couple companies and see what I can work out. The ZL1 lid on the Tahoe already has meth. I'll put a picture right here. And that's from ProMeth. So I'm going to get with them and see if I can get a pump and a controller and all that kind of stuff. Get meth on the Tahoe just to help keep the inlet air temps down. And I'm also stressing the fuel system a little bit much right now. So we are going to uh, kind of compensate with meth. Not something that I personally like doing, but I don't feel like buying another big fuel pump. So I'd have to run two. I've got one uh, Deechworks 400 or 450 in it right now. And it's just not quite enough. Fuel pressure starts to drop up top. So we're going to do that. The Packard, we have all the parts to rebuild the fuel pump finally. I was waiting on this diaphragm. Finally got it in. So I've got all my check valves, my gaskets, have my diaphragms now. So I'm going to get the fuel pump rebuilt on this. And then I'm going to throw some wiring at this thing and see if I can get it to run after I change the oil. That's going to be the only other thing that I do. So... Pretty excited about that. I want to hear this thing run, and I am going to spend some serious time on it here in the next week or two, so watch for those videos as well. And aside from that, I've just been hanging out. Uh, John Dock's cars have all been running, so I haven't really had to help him out too much. RPM Motorsports, we're kind of slowing down for the winter. We're not doing a lot of racing, so we're just trying to get caught up on projects that we have up there as well. So welcome the golf cart to the High PSI family. Packard stuff coming soon. Tahoe stuff coming soon, as you can see the bikes put away for the winter. Um, and I'm hoping to be up in Michigan for Christmas. So I want to do the Packard tour. I know they are only doing one or two more this year. So the Packard plant being up in Detroit, I want to go check that out as well. So sorry for the long-winded talking video. I know you guys like action. The last few have had some action in them. So going to get back into that. I'm going to stay busy here at my shop at the house and at RPM Motorsports. As always, guys, there's a link in the description below for t-shirts and hats, and I still have a few hoodies left. So if you're interested in hoodies, you have to send me a message on Instagram because I don't have them posted on the website. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.